Hong Kong, the culinary capital of Asia, offers thousands of restaurants and street food. Snake soup has been considered a delicacy in Chinese culture for over 2,000 years. Nowadays, there are only a limited number of snake soup stores in Hong Kong. Today, my friend Jordan and I will find out which is the best snake soup in town. So I, mean, I don't have a big point of reference for this, but I mean, so far, best snake soup I've ever had. I mean, the the meat is kind of similar to to it, like a chicken. You can kind of uh, see strips of uh, white meat. If I understand correctly, this is uh, some some mushrooms that they've also sliced. So I mean, this the snake soup. It's quite complicated and and sophisticated, full of flavors. Okay, let's go to the second snake shop. Which one is it called? Sir Wong Thin, there's okay. a big yellow sign that yeah. I really do not. <laughs> I think all the snake soups are called Sir Wong something. It's snake like King. A Snake King, King snake right? King. Snake King with their family last name. Yeah. Okay. Now this one is uh, not just snake soup. They do uh, barbecue and uh, actual dishes. And that's what we had last time. All right. So right off the bat, I'm seeing two differences. One, it's the price, right? We just paid double. Right. 120 compared to 60 with the first one, and uh, number two, the wontons and lemongrass. They just mm -hmm. add it for you. They'll give you a, a separate plate to, to uh, yeah. Yeah. To, you know, and the kind of the smell is uh, yeah. stronger than the other one we just had. It's the chicken. Right. It's the chicken. chicken smell? I think I think that's chicken smell. The yeah. snake isn't gonna smell like anything right. for, from my limited experience. But I mean, I, that smells like chicken. Right? Let's dig into it and see. Oh, kind of hot. Yeah, very, very strong chicken taste. Mm. The other one was, was a lot more mild. Now, according to the menu, they said they have five kind of snakes. Probably that's the reason why it's more expensive. Mm. But this one is more famous, right? Because it's in central, the location is better. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And this is mutually <coughs> recommended. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I think, for me personally, I, I still prefer the first one more. Let me let me add some pepper. Hi. I mean, for example, like this, you can see like Victor mentioned this, these colors. I mean, this, this, the red color. I mean, this is probably pork. Yeah. I would imagine. I think the soup goes well with the pepper. Yeah. Is it vinegar? I guess. I don't know. Oh, I don't even know how to open this. <laughs> oh, it's vinegar. Add some vinegar. I actually do not have vinegar. First shop, so this will be some change. We'll do it. Yeah, I mean the pepper and the vinegar. Mm. <coughs> Adds another yeah. dimension, layer to it, because flavor wise. The flavor is too strong, so you have to add in some other sauce to balance the flavor. Yeah. We just finished that snake soup. I think we need to use some herbal tea. Yeah. All right. I want the 24 flavor, the darker one. That boy, you got her boy. How's your soup? For you, boy. Oh, I'll see. Oh. Like any different? 
So this is 24 flavor herbal tea. What are you having? You are having. I the had the ginseng one. I picked that one by accident. I meant to get the sweet flower tea, oh, okay. and I messed up. But still, okay. uh, so this tastes better, I think. This is kind of bitter. This is disgusting. Very good for you, but disgusting. Mm. Very bitter. This is like herbal. traditional Chinese medicine. It's bitter and kind of sour. I don't know what I'm drinking, but I guess it's good. So we're coming to the third snake soup shop. This one kind of small. We really don't have a place to sit. We have to you know, grab a seat outside. I'm gonna help you with the... Right. Just adding some, some lemongrass. lemongrass. He said a little bit, so we're adding a little bit. Right. What do you say? It's good. It's delicious. I think this is closer to the, the first shop that we went to. Snake. I mean, that's obviously, you can tell, obviously, that's snake. Right. You can't, the first two shops, you couldn't really tell it was snake meat. Mm -hmm. right, this actually has the shape. Actually, I think it's not bad. It's a small shop, it's very local. Right? And the uh, snake, because it's a big chunk, they can, can chew it, you can feel it, you can feel the texture. Now we are here in Causeway Bay. And marching to the fort, next to the restaurant. Oh, that strong uh, mandarin, grand mandarin peel. The mandarin okay. peel. Yeah. There we go. They already put lemongrass in there. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> strong and strong orange peel flavor. Yeah. Quite light, quite light in flavors. Mm. 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 They also sell uh, snake skin products, so bags and, and belts. We just finished the snake still being in Shui Pool. We are now in a park here, take a break and uh, think about which one the best we had among the five. I think we agreed that the best was uh, the first one we had in yeah. San Juan. Best snake experience, mm -hmm. get to see snakes, and uh, best soup. Sir Wang Lam. Shi Wang Ling. Yeah. The original one, right? Yeah, the, the, first, the, the original one. The first one in Hong Kong. Right. Only serve snake soups. I don't yeah. see if they have other dishes. Probably they have some other snake dishes, but not like other stores. I guess Sir Wang Feng and, or Sir Wang Yi. They have like a barbecue pork, yeah. that char siu, fried rice, yeah. other fried dishes. I, but the one in Shanghuan really they only focus on their snake. Yeah, and that and that's the unique thing. Right? right. I mean, you go there for the snake experience. You know, I'm sure if you touch your camera like we did, mm -hmm. they probably show you some snakes too. And if they don't, you have the one in the wind, uh, the one in the entrance that you can see anyway. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Definitely the best. But I'm not sure whether it was because that's the first one we had, and uh, the owner generously showed us all the snakes. Yeah. Right. 
Yeah, but I think the feeling is good, right? We right. enter the store, if you're entering, you're entering an Asian store, yeah. and with old men yeah. who are sitting there, play with their snakes, yeah. and they serve you with uh, hot bowls and snakes, and yeah. uh, I mean, the service is good, Yeah. and people are nice to us. Yeah, yeah. which is uh, hard to find sometimes in yeah. these local shops. Uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of it is, I'd say all five soups were, were decent, right? We didn't have mm -hmm. a bad bowl of soup. But I mean, a lot of it comes down to your preference, right? Whether you want a bowl with lots of ingredients, lots mm -hmm. of flavors in there, or you want that pure, you know, just snake soup experience, mm -hmm. you know? And I think the, the first one, the San Juan again, Sir Wang Lam, is, probably gives you that. You know, it's, it's uh, there isn't much added to it. When you drink it, you feel like this is snake soup. And the other ones, you know, they have chicken, they have you know, some pork, and you know, maybe more mushroom flavor. And mm -hmm. snake is just kind of one component. But I think the first one is really, you know, it's it's snake. The essence of it is snake. Mm -hmm. I think another reason is the price. The price is reasonable. Yeah. How much is it? Yeah. S 60? 60. 60. A small bowl. Yeah. Not the cheapest one we had. Right. Uh, but still reasonable. Yeah. Reasonable. But on the other hand, the one we had in Central is about 20. Right. 120 is double the price. Yeah. I mean, Hong Kong dollars. Right. All right, well, thanks Thanks for watching. All right, give us a comment, likes, and we'll see you in our next video. Thanks so much.